It will be safe to say that today that biotech admissions office in any college is not actually an admissions office, it's a sales office. So as a student or parent, you have to be careful about it because if you choose the wrong college for your child or if you choose a wrong college for yourself, it will break your career forever. I have seen it happening to so many children and that is why I am making this video. Now, I'm not going to bash any particular college or university saying that this is bad, that is bad. I'm just going to give you five easy precautions to judge whether a college is a good fit for you or not. Okay. Now, first things which I told you, biotech admission office is not um, admission office. It's actually a sales office, right? So you have to know that if you go in there for admission and you're asking a lot of questions, okay? And if the admission counselor is getting irritated by your questions, you should know that this college is not the right fit for me. Because if you are buying a product or a service, you have every right to ask questions. And if they are not able to give satisfactory answers, then definitely you should be careful about it. And the first instance you'll get is they'll get irritated okay now do not always or whenever you're going don't go with your um, you know uh, alone you can go with your parents or uncle or somebody who has experience um, so that they can ask the right questions okay because if when they start getting irritated and being rude you will get scared as a student to ask but your parents won't be scared right and you should know that once you have taken the admission they will not refund the money it's gone okay so you have to invest in the right place okay and this is the truth of majority of the colleges once they have taken the admission fees they are not going to re refund it right so it is better to ask better questions crucial critical questions so that later on you don't regret and you don't have to drop out from that college okay now that's the first precaution the second precaution is absence of a placement officer or a placement cell many a times during the admission season they will just label any one particular room that this is a placement office and they'll say the placement officer sits there he's on a leave right now or he's on some other meeting some other task right you seek appointment with the placement officer and go and meet him the college will never ever be comfortable allowing that but you should still do that ask how many people got placed which all companies they got placed what salary they got placed give me the list and then go on linkedin find out are they telling the truth? Is it a lie? Because I know a lot of colleges who are able to place students, but there are many who are not able to. And that is where, especially after your master's, if you're doing going for master's. Now, after bachelor's, they may not be placement. They may be, they will say that, okay, they went for the next degree. That is MSc. Okay, fine. That's fine. But still, did you arrange a placement event for them? So these are the questions you have to ask. That is the second precaution you have to take. The third precaution you have to take is when they are promising too many things, okay? Remember this, when they are promising too many things, but it is not matching with the statements given by current students or the past students. So you can always talk to the alum, alumni, to the students who are studying there and try to ma cross match what the admissions office is promising me or telling me, are they really delivering that? Okay, that's the third precaution. The fourth precaution is hostile. Okay, hostel gives you a brilliant idea about the atmosphere in the college and most of the college hostels suck. Okay, so they may force you to say that no, no, you have it's mandatory to take the hostel. But you have to keep this in mind that you have every right to say no. You have every right to live wherever you want and prefer staying out of the hostel, not in the hostel. Now, if it is many a times the college is very far from the you know, city, so you may not get a nearby um, house or something for rent. So what should you do? Okay, you don't have any option. Go for the hostel. But look for those kind of rooms. It may cost you, but single rooms or uh, twin sharing rooms don't go for dormitories. Because that is where the real bad atmosphere begins. Because most of the other classmates may be younger or maybe may not have the same mental maturity as you. But you have gone there to study. They, are, they have gone there to do musti. But that is where it will go in the wrong way. So that is the fourth precaution, hostel. Fifth precaution, and that is the college is charging 
too much fees and at the same time so it breaks your bank they are charging too much fees breaks your bank but the first four precautions are a no okay so if all the four precautions which i told you previously is not a yes okay not a check but they are still charging so much then i think it's not a right fit for you so keep these five pointers in mind and then accordingly you strategize let me tell you this there are very good colleges who are doing great job okay just to name a few you have ibab you have nirma university you have manipal institute of regenerative medicine you have srm university they are doing a great job but there are many who are not but they are still charging 14 lakh rupees 15 lakh rupees for a two year three year degree but what is the outcome the child is again struggling so when they struggle they come to me for placements and that is where it breaks my heart and that is why i am making this video so that i make sure that every child who is enrolling he enrolls in the right college and the wrong colleges are forced to go and fix the problems they have thank you so much for watching comment below if you have any questions i'll see you soon in the next one till then keep shining bye bye